Hey guys, welcome to episode 12, the final episode of the season and this is it. We are 5 points clear with 9 points left on the table. If we can get 5 points from the last 3 games, we will be champions. Of course, if Bolton slip up then that gives us a little bit more leeway, but we need to get this over the line as quickly as we can and we start with the game against Northampton Town of 16th. They've won the last two games though and they are in good form. Bowie up front who's a player we've been keeping an eye on on loan from Fulham. We're going to sim this one because regardless of the result um, this, we're still going to have to get something against Wrexham and we do get the three points with a 3-1 win. Van de Cole and Adam Phillips with the goals. We kept them down to very little. They had two shots, two on target and scored. Bolton also win against Leighton Orient, who we play in our final game. So, six points. Bolton can get up to 104 points. We are currently on 103. A win here guarantees us the title. A draw will see us in the driving seat, whether it will come down to goal difference or what. So, can we go to the race course ground? Can we go to Rexham and can we get three points to get us the title from the off Rex on Bill through the middle with Marriott they're keeping the ball really well into Mullin but it's a great tackle by Connell Connell looks forward to Kane Kane oh it's just cut out by Isaac Caden former Premier League midfielder into Jack Marriott into Jones Rex on do not want to let us have the ball and it's through to Marriott and that's 1-0 after five minutes, we find ourselves 1-0 down in Wales and they've just cut through the middle of us again. Mullin, great through ball. Marriott takes a touch out of his feet and fires it into the top corner. 11th minute of the game now. We've been on the attack. We've had a bit of the ball, but Wrexham are just on top of us. We can't seem to get the ball anywhere near their goal, but Phillips wins the flick on into Cole. Makati, that is a really awkward goal. It just... Like the way the ball rolled, the way the defence didn't close us down or anything. It's just an equaliser and we'll take it. Wrexham on the attack again, this time in the 20th minute, 19th minute. Ball comes back in, Williams heads it away. Cole heads it away to Phillips. Phillips holds the ball up, he's waiting for some supporters. No, no one coming with him though, so he's going wide. Holding it, keeping the ball really nicely. McCatty into Kane. Kane slides it through for Cole. Cole pulls it back. Oh, it's an easy save by Conquo. Oh, it's in. No. Oh, what a save by Arthur Conquo. James McLean will bring it away. What a huge chance that was for us to get a lead. Big save by the keeper. The keeper, who we are looking at as a potential signing for next season. But, oh, we were so close to taking the lead. And now instead it's Wrexham on the attack. Oh, Jones just glides through midfield there into Mullin. Back to Jones. Jones hits it from range. Oh, from one end to the other. We go so close to scoring through McCatty. And they just break straight down the middle of us again. I just, we can't figure out the defense in this game. We've just been so poor. Ball came into Mullin again, into Jones. Jones drives from the edge of the box. It's a lovely finish. Keeper's got very little chance there. Oh, such a frustrating goal to concede. So we're on the back foot, it's two one down, 36 minutes gone. Ball gets played forward to Cadden. Cadden shifts it inside to Earl. Earl takes it over to Kane. Back to Cadden through the middle. Connell into Cole. He's got the run of Phillips. Oh, it's a good save. Can he force a rebound? That's a great finish by Adam Phillips from a narrow angle just before half time. What another mad game. Last episode, we saw goals flying in left, right, and center at both ends of the like, field. And this time, it's no different. Decent enough save, but Conquer didn't push it away from problems. Pushed it to Phillips. Phillips left McLean for dead and just smashes it home. Phillips has been superb this year. Really good goal tally and we've needed it. 15 minutes left of the game now. Oh, Williams, that's a big challenge, but we don't keep the ball. McLean can bring it away. Looks inside to Marriott. Marriott's been a real handful in this game, the former Derby player. Into McLean. McLean into Holman. This is lovely build up play. Into Harry. Oh, McLean knocks it on, and there's Lee to make it three. Again, what do we need to do to hold a hold a draw in this game, let alone hold a lead? Gosh, he's just pushed and pushed and pushed, and they've gone straight through the middle of us again. Great work by 
McLean. Great work by Marriott to play it through. He just falls in their favour. It comes off Donovan Pines and leaves there to rifle home. Another decent finish. Oh, keeper just... Oh, yeah, the less said about the keepers, the better, eh? Let's just move on. Last couple of minutes of the game, we really need to catch a break. Mullin with it, though. He can hold it up into the 90th minute, into Bolton. Bolton, oh, great challenge by Buckley. Into Connell, he's giving it away to Holman. That's going to be time, I think. Lee can just hold the ball now, and Wrexham will get the point they need. Mullin, great turn. Our defenders ran away, and Bolton makes it 4 2. Ironic that it's Bolton that's put a nail in the coffin here, or the final nail in the coffin. We're already pretty much dead after the third goal. Is it going to be enough to give his namesake a chance to get Pippers to the title? We need five points from our last three games. We got a win in the last one and a defeat here. Great play by Mullen. Oh, the Givney just ran away from him again. Just the defensive AI is just appalling. It's just. But it is what it is, and that is the last kick of the game, and we go down 4-2 in Wales. So now all eyes will be on Bolton. What did Bolton do in their game? Did they win or did they draw? Oh, 15 shots to their eight, and they win. Bolton lost. That's it. That's enough. Bristol Rovers winning 3-0 at Bolton is enough for us to pick up the trophy. They can get 101 points now, and we have got 103. We are the League One champions. And with that in mind, we will see our final game against Crawley Town. Orsi and Lars up top, both really decent players. Darcy in midfield as well. Crawley, we played them earlier in the season, and it was a good match. And we play out a draw. We do pick up the trophy. We've absolutely dominated that game. Four chances, and they've scored two of them. It's been an ongoing theme that we need a better keeper and we'll be working hard for that in the summer as a championship team, as the League One champions. What a relief to get that over the line. There it is confirmed. We're six points clear. They do have a game in hand still, but 104 points is the League One record. It was previously 103 points, so we have managed to beat that as well by one point. Stephen is Cambridge, Wickham and Wigan actually going down. Wigan, I'm really surprised that I thought they'd be competing at the top of the table this summer. But uh, let's just enjoy this with what looks like Rivaldo presenting the League One Player of the Season award. No one else is going to be up for this, are they? Devante Cole has been massive for us. He has been a man mountain. He has scored some huge goals. He had a bit of a spell out injured. Bounced back, straight back into form. There's me in a dash and waistcoat. There's Donovan Pines. But yeah, Devante Cole has been incredible for us this year. His contract runs out at the end of next season, so it remains whether we offer him a new deal, whether we can do it at championship level, whether we can afford to keep him at championship level, he might get a different offer. But instead, let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about the future. Let's enjoy the present as we parade through the streets of Barnsley in the big red bus. The champions of League One, Barnsley FC. Absolutely huge performance from us this year. We've been the best team in the league for a long time. Bolton have pushed us though towards the end. Our form faltered. But we've been top of the league for a while. We've been in the top two or three for the whole season pretty much. So the boys can celebrate. The fans can celebrate. We are back in the championship as champions. And we break the points record for League One. So look at the stats then. Devante Cole, 41 goals. 38 in the league. 15 assists as well. What a massive tally that is. 7.89 rating. Didn't score in our Car Carabao Cup run, which is quite weird. But 38 goals from 41 games in the league is huge. Manny's out of contract in real life. He's actually left the club in real life. We gave him a new deal. And he's just repaid that tenfold, 40-fold, in fact. He's just been incredibly good. Phillips with 24. McCatty with 20. Kane got 12 as well. And they're both, like, Kane's level with Cole for assists. So Cole's had a massive season for us this year. And our first bit of business. Getting a few bits done in preparation for the new season. We're going to... Signed Jack Hinshelwood from Brighton. 
originally coming in on loan, but we have a, like a an agreement to buy him during the season. Great young talent. CDM, centre midfielder, can play at centre back as well. He's going to come on loan for 12 months, and we will make that deal permanent as soon as we can. But yeah, I just think making sure that we get him this year gives us a chance to play him. We do pay a fair bit of his wages, five and a half grand a week. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that, and he'll compete with Phillips and Kane hopefully in the championship, assuming one of those doesn't get bid on. A little run through the other leagues. Man City win the Premier League, two points clear of Liverpool. Newcastle and Villa finish the top four. Arsenal in fifth, but Spurs, Man United all drifting away. And Bournemouth, Southampton and Ipswich will all be in the championship next year when we get promoted to face them. Interesting one, Everton just surviving. Two points. Wolves on 40, comfortable. But yeah, that bottom four was a little bit adrift. And Ipswich were well adrift at the bottom. Into the championship, West Brom take the title from Middlesbrough. Leeds, Blackburn, Luton and Mill will all go into the playoffs. Yeah, those top two ran away there. Coventry in eighth, so we just missed out on the playoffs. Sunderland, Chef Wednesday and Plymouth Argyle all get relegated. Sunderland's a big one to go. And Chef Wednesday and Plymouth were the last two career modes I did. So it's sad to see both of them go, but we can definitely have a look in to see if there's anyone we can pick up from there. So we finished first in the league, round four in the FA Cup, quarterfinals in the League Cup. BSM doesn't really matter, but that's the season finished. We are champions and I hope you've enjoyed this season and we'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please leave a like, and we'll see you in the next one.